Cube, and welcome back. Um, as you can tell, I am installing a bunch of mods. Um, the main reason I am doing this is because the uh, my Windows side has completely failed me, and I had to... For some reason, I just couldn't access it anymore. Um, I can explain that later. I'm installing every mod back that I had, plus new mods that I had on here. Um, and it keeps doing this even though I don't want to keep restarting it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well anyway, this whole video is going to be about installing mods on Farming Simulator through a Mac. Um, if you don't know already. So the very first thing you do is we're going to go and just so I can show you the whole process, we're going to go into FSUK, which is the place where I normally get mine the mods that I have out uh, from. Um, a lot of them will send me to Mod Hoster, I think is what it's called. <clears throat> or at least most of them sends me there anyway. It looks like it's snowing. Is that snow? Is there like a snow mod? I didn't think so. Why does it look like it's snowing in that video and in that picture? That's crazy. All right. Well, anyway, um, let's go to some mods here, and let's just grab a quick little mod that's not going to send me to a different website. Well, I'll show you the other website, too. There's several of them. If you're into modding or anything like that, you obviously know that there's several different websites. <clears throat> so Mod Hub is one of them, which is mainly where a lot of these come from, I think. So let's just go to Mod Hub. And if you don't know how to download through Mod Hub, this will show you how to do that too. So it takes us to Mod Hub, which is one of them, which is right here. And you can download the Mac version or the Windows version. And I don't really don't think there's a difference between the two, to be honest with you. So if I click download on this side, let's open this. So I'm going to download that one first, and just to see what happens. Because <clears throat> this might change part of it or part of the video that I was going to explain. Ah, coffee. at 7.11 p.m. Haha, <laughs> you thought it was from 7.11, didn't you? Anyway. No, okay, it, it did do it. Okay, so no matter what you download, if you have it set like I do, for some reason when I change it, well, actually I take that back, because I didn't know it did this. This is something that did for an update. I am using, um... El Capitan, not Sierra. I have not up upgraded yet. And I still don't know if I want to or not. So which one did I just... Um... The Kun Cetera. This one. Okay, so I can delete these, because I've already got them. Okay, so when you download it, it automatically unzips the folder. Which then you have to open this, and you're like, ah... I gotta do this every time. Yes, you do. Um, but I can. I my, I'm gonna probably end up writing a script for all of us Mac users, uh, specifically for Mac, that will automatically do this for us. Um, and I'll probably show that on here too. Uh, so all you have to do is just uh, open the folder, click on the first part, click on the last part, right click and compress and that'll create an archive.zip <clears throat> now you don't want to like right click here and compress this because you're compressing the folder and you're not compressing the stuff inside it just doesn't work that way you have to compress the stuff inside the folder in order for it to work so then you have this archive.zip once it's selected once just click it again and archive will be highlighted type in the name of the name of the mod 
So this is the Kuhn Cetera 3000. And there you go. And then you can just drag it wherever you want. I usually put mine on my desktop. And then you can just delete the mod you downloaded from there. Now, for those of you who might not know how to, say, download a mod from certain websites, I'm trying to think of that one. There's a certain website, and it's not ModHub. Uh, I think it was GPS that sent me to it. Yes. Okay, so GPS mod will send you to a different link, which is modhoster.com. Now, it took me for it, sad to say, it actually took me a while to even figure out how to download stuff from this site. I know, that's pretty sad. I know. But you just go to down here underneath the mod. You'll have a spot down at the bottom that says download. You just click the download. That's it. I'm not going to do it. Well, I can go ahead and click it. It's no big deal. And then it'll take you to this site here or this page here, and then you just click download. And then it'll download for you. And there we go. There we go. We got it. All right, now back to the other spot. So <clears throat> the easiest way to install a mod after you do that, in the top left-hand corner with nothing selected, you'll have Finder. If you go to where it says Go, and you hold down Alt on a normal keyboard and Option on a Mac keyboard, and Library will pop up. If you notice, you don't have Library when it's not pushed, and you have Library when it is. Click on Library. Then, navigate to Application Support. It will normally be the second one. And then, scroll and find Farming Simulator 2017. And then, go to Mods. And then, just take your mod and drag it in there. But, I've already got this one, so I'm not going to drop it in there. And that is about it. So, stay tuned for the video on how to write an automatic... Um, when you download something, it will automatically open the folder, grab all this stuff, and zip it with the original folder's name. Stay tuned for that, and that'll come later, because that'll even help me out. So, leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comment section below. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.